A recommendation that gun owners protect their weapons in storage boxes hasn't gotten much traction in Atlanta. A councilman says he may have an answer. Antonio Lewis wants the security devices offered for free. Now, Lewis says his initiative might prevent children from getting their hands on guns and hurting themselves or someone else. Here's Fox Eyes More Steaks. The city of Atlanta and some of the other governments have already sponsored these gun buyback programs. The initiative, clearing the streets of guns. But the law-abiding citizens, they want to maintain their guns. So what about protection in the home or in the car? Some of these devices are quite affordable, less than $50. A lot of gun talk from top Atlanta politicians. So you know why you got pulled over, right? Aggressive police work, including this never before seen body cam footage. Oh, that's why. Shows confiscations are yielding results, yet so many more weapons are out there. Legitimate unsecured guns being taken from cars and then used in crimes, and a danger of another kind, accidental shootings inside the home, injuring or killing innocent people, tragically children, often the victims. And it appears that the firearm was discharged, striking the child in the hand. At City Hall, a member of council is stepping in with an idea. Provide the lock boxes for guns. Antonio Lewis last night introduced a resolution. And develop a program to provide firearm safety storage free of charge to qualifying citizens within the city of Atlanta to, de to deter accidental shootings and reduce the theft of unsecured firearms. It's an idea the police command has pushed for at least two years with little traction. Make it easy, says Lewis. For City of Atlanta residents, a city hall can purchase or acquire the devices and then hand them out. The councilman tells me his goal is to start with at least 1,000 gun security boxes, and he says he has enough co-signers, council members who've offered their support to pass the bill. From downtown Atlanta, I'm Morse Diggs, Fox 5 News.